you guys, my name is Kenichi. My name is Pablo. And today we're going to be discussing about violence. More specifically, we're going to be talking about is it morally acceptable to use violence? And, and if it is, then in what situations would it be moral? So anyways, Pablo, what is violence? Well, violence is rough or injurious physical force, action, or treatment. Right. And in our society today, the word violence has a negative connotation to it. And you know, you it, it's understandable because we have wars, we have terrorism, we have fights, and all of those have really painful repercussions. Yeah, and I mean, even a lot of religions in the world preach against violence. Christianity, Buddhism, Hinduism, to name a few, mm -hmm. preach against violence and the pain and anguish that comes from it. Yeah, exactly. However, in all cases, in the words of Roman philosopher Vegetius, let him who decides for peace prepare for war. So in other cases, sometimes even if peace is the noblest cause, in order to achieve it, you must be willing to fight. Right. And in some situations, using violence can be the only beneficial way to solve mm -hmm. the problem. Like bullying. Bullying is a great example of when violence can be utmost useful. So Pablo, why do you think bullying is the proper time to use violence? Well, I don't necessarily think that it should be used immediately or as a first go option. However, I think that one is getting bullied, they should follow their teacher's advice and try to ignore them. You know, follow the usual school policies. Mm -hmm. However, that doesn't work. Um, eventually, you're going to have to use violence to defend yourself. In many cases, the teacher tells them to shrug it off, ignore them, etc. because they just don't want to deal with the headache. And not saying that all teachers do this, but many of the time this happens, especially in public schools, even private schools as well, and college. And it's all, and remember, I think, and we can both agree on, right, that it's only viable to use violence when all else fails. Mm -hmm. As this can give one courage to stand up to the bully and if he or she wins they will have a newfound sense of accomplishment self-respect and self-relief in other words they can only destroy the bully when all else fails when they've tried all the other methods right. and even when there's physical contact the victim must refrain from severely damaging the bully right yeah as long um and so he's not stooping down to that bully's level but he's also you know because he's practicing self-control yes and in the words of thucydides greek philosopher self-control is a chief element in self-respect and self-respect is a chief element in courage Oh my god, it's the bookworm! You're wearing a bow? Oh my god, you're actually wearing a bow? What are you, five? Why are you bothering her? I'm making an outfit. So, as you can see in this video, someone is being bullied. Judging by how the bully just came in and started taunting the victim, it's clear that this has been going on for a while. Mm -hmm. And you saw the friend, right? Yeah, she just got pushed over. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And when, even when the friend decided to step in and try to stand up for the, her friend, the victim, the bully just throws her down to the ground. And that's just not right, dude. No, that's but not cool. Take a look over at her hero over there. Yeah, he, he helped her up, and he's now standing in front of the bully, and let's see what's going to happen next. Dude, what's your problem, man? Why are you picking on her? Whoa, you need to calm down, all right? Mm, you see that? He confronted the bully, and he asked the bully, why is he doing this, and told him to stop. This is a great example of control, as he did not beat the bully to a bloody pulp. Yet. Oh, exactly. You know, he's not taking it all, you know, escalating it all the way up. He's first, right. you know, trying to, you know, just put a stop to the bullying, and the bully pushes him. Yeah. And, you know, bro, I mean, I would have decked him right there, dude. But you know what? Anyways, let's see what happens next. Alright, dude, you need to stop this. What the hell are you gonna do about it? Dude, that's enough. He pushed him back. Still showing himself. Yeah, sure. and at this point, you know, many people start fighting. But in our situation here, the bully pushed him first. And our hero just pushed him back just a little harder. Why? Because it shows him that 
he's standing his ground and he's a force to be reckoned with. So, in other words, stop. Right, and he's not stooping down to the bully's level and becoming the bully himself. He's holding back because he's giving the bully a chance to stop what he's doing and to walk away. Exactly. So, stop. Dude, that's enough. You saw that, right? You saw that. He fought him and he beat him down. But why? Because he was being attacked. People who are victims let the bullies beat them up. Often, teachers and school staff find out about this after the fact. Mm -hmm. um, and that's sometimes an issue with the school policy. But right. he um, stepped in and defended the, the, the victim who could not defend herself. Yeah, and sometimes when you run away, you know, or you may let the bully beat you up, it makes you look weak. And you feel defeated. It's a blow to self-respect, self-confidence. And this is where it's acceptable to fight, to defend and to protect. Now, in the words of Homer, to those that flee, neither comes power nor glory. And in the words of Sun Tzu, to secure ourselves in defeat lies in our own hands, but the opportunity of defeating the enemy is provided by the enemy himself. Mm -hmm. Exactly. No, don't! You're better than this. Yeah, you're right. Don't ever bully anyone again. Get out. You see that? He refrained himself from finishing him. He beat him up just enough to stop what he was doing and send a message that mm -hmm. bullying would not be tolerated. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and thankfully the girl stopped him. I mean, otherwise if they didn't, he probably would have beaten the bully to death. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And in all honesty, I thought it was good that he didn't continue. Yeah, otherwise he would have stooped down to the bully's level and become the bully himself. Instead, he did just enough to stop the bully, defend the victim, and he didn't take it overboard. Exactly. He fought to protect, and that's when it's viable to use violence. Plus, he wasn't fearful, or at least it seemed to be. He went against his fears to fight him, as courage is knowing what not to fear. Plato. And according to Virgil, fear is proof of a degenerate mind. Well, you guys, thank you so much for watching our video, and we hope you learned a lot. I'm just going to go ahead and cut off Kanichi here. Hey, everybody, this is Juan, your faithful video editor and good-for-nothing bully from the scenario that got his head, neck, and general face area beaten in. Don't worry, I deserved it. I was kind of a jerk. Anyway, I'm here to sneak in one last message. It's your turn. Now it's your time to discuss and form an opinion based on what we showed you here today. So, what do you think? Is violence morally permissible? And if it is, is it a moral good? We're going to leave that up to you to decide. You will never do anything in the world without courage. It is the greatest quality of the mind next to honor. Aristotle. And now a word from our sponsor. Just kidding, it's a thing we did with Dr. Barry. I wouldn't worry about it. I'm Dr. Barry. And Maria Rochelle. We approve this message. We approve it. Uh, scene two, take two. Alright. Alright. <laughs> We're giving Juan so much shit. Sorry, Juan. Okay. You're not, you're, you're, you're not in the camera yet. Keep, keep going. going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Oh, oh no. No. Oh my god, dude. Well, I don't know. Uh. <laughs> okay, no, keep going. Keep going. Come on, I'm gonna edit this out. I'm gonna edit this. happens when fucking Richard punches the shit out of a guy. <laughs> oh yeah, when Richard beats the shit out of me, I, I get beat up by a tree. Yeah, it is. <laughs> everyone say, screw you, tree. <laughs> See how everyone's laughing, no one's helping him out. You know, I'll be a good guy. We're gonna be helping him out right here. Damn. Exactly. I'm such a good person. Look at this. Are you okay?